Welcome back to the channel. Spec5 has sent me some of their latest and greatest gadgets. In this care package, I'm going to be unboxing the Spec5 Spectre Pro and the Spec5 Strike. Now these gadgets are pretty much their flagship models. We'll talk about the prices and the specifications at the end of the unboxing. If you would like to skip the unboxing, look for the timestamp below. So let's talk about the Spectre Pro first. Now, the Spectre Pro is a rugged Android communicator built for both off-grid and on-grid communications. It uses NRF52 and SX1262 LoRa system for long-range mesh messaging and location sharing. You can stay fully off the grid or you can insert a SIM card and use LTE when you need it. It has no subscription and no tracking. It also comes ready with Meshtastic. There are two versions. The base model lets you add your own SIM for LTE. The hybrid model comes with a prepaid two gigabyte SIM. The shell is PETG reinforced with carbon fiber, which makes it stronger than the previous model. The screen size is about 3.88 inches. The main phone battery is 1,950 milliamp hours, and the LoRa radio has its own 250 milliamp hour battery. The rear camera is 5 megapixels, and the front camera is 2 megapixels. The SIM tray supports either two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM and one memory card. Now, let's talk about some of the main differences between the two models. Now, the standard model only has a 2.5 inch screen, while the Pro has a 3.88 inch screen. You have double the RAM. The original only has two gigabytes of RAM while the Pro has four. Battery life is improved. The original was 1,000 milliamp hours. The Pro is 1,950 milliamp hours. The camera jumps from a two megapixel camera to a five megapixel camera on the new model. The Pro model can handle 4G LTE while the other model couldn't. And this case is reinforced with carbon fiber. Now it's been 24 hours since I unboxed this device. I've been having so much fun with it. So I installed WiggleNet on this thing. So now I'm more driving with this little Android device. Before I was using my Logitech G Cloud to do this, but now this little thing can fit in my pocket and I can walk around everywhere with it and war drive. I also discovered a couple cool things I could do with it. I'm gonna be making a dedicated video to this eventually, but as of right now, this is just gonna be an overview in my first 24 hours of having the device. And I gotta be honest with you, I love it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Now let's talk about the Spec5 Strike. This is a compact handheld Linux workstation. 
with a built-in LoRa mesh radio. It is built for developers, hackers, makers, tinkerers, and anybody who needs portable off-grid communications. It uses a Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 along with a custom Spec 5 carrier board. The Strike has a 4.3 inch touchscreen, a keyboard, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, USB ports, and a SX1262 LoRa module. This gives you full Linux flexibility in a portable mesh network in one device. Now there's two different models. You have the base edition, it comes fully assembled, but it does not include an SD card, so you have to put your own operating system on it. In this video, I have the ready edition. This one includes a 32 gigabyte SD card with Raspberry Pi OS and Meshtastic pre-installed. It's so close to being plug and play, but there's something you need to do to actually get the mesh tastic to work on this thing. So let me save you some time. So you're gonna see a file on your desktop that says how to use mesh tastic. You're gonna to want to copy this right here, localhost 443. Copy this and you're gonna launch the mesh tastic web UI. Hit execute and then you're gonna click on add a new connection and you're going to paste it right here. And then hit connect. And now you are ready to start using Meshtastic on the device. Now it's been 24 hours since I unboxed this thing. It's a lot of fun. I really do like that I have a handheld computer on me. That's my first kind of cyber deck experience. I also really like that they have a USB port on the side so you can plug in a mouse if you want to. It's really convenient because sometimes the touch screen is not the best when you're trying to click on small icons. Now let's talk about the prices for these gadgets. So the base model strike is $380. And if you were to get the ready edition like I have, it is $410. Now for the Spectre Pro, the base model comes in around $200 and the hybrid model comes in around $270. Now I know these things are pretty pricey, but what you're getting is a already put together gadget and setup. So no DIY projects, no flashing firmwares, no putting any Anything together it's ready to go make sure you hit the subscribe and like button i will be making review videos of these products eventually shout out to spec 5 for sending me these gadgets to do reviews and unboxings if you're interested in getting any of these gadgets shown in the video i will leave my affiliate links in the description if you want to support everything i do consider being a channel member it's greatly appreciated and as always do me a favor and remember safety is an illusion